Welcome to Spotlight on the Arts. Hi, I'm Iris Acker and I'm your host today. Let's meet the panel. First up, Michael McKeever, actor, playwright. Karen Stevens, actress and a writer. And Bill Hirschman, theater critic. Love saying that word, critic. Me too. And <laughs> journalist. <laughs> and our special guest today, Manny Hernandez. Uh, our topic is celebrity photography. Changed it a little bit. Manny, do you consider yourself a celebrity photographer? I consider myself a celebrity photographer. I mean, I, um, you know, I think I captured more of the scene is more of my thing. Um, the fact that a famous person comes into my pictures is another thing. But um, um, I think uh, I consider myself a photographer, and it just so happens that I shoot a lot of celebrities. Yeah, I was gonna, what, what, what is a celebrity? What <laughs> makes a celebrity? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> I, I mean, it used to, celebrities used to be, you know, something iconic, something, you know, when you get shot Elizabeth Taylor or shot, you know, any other big stars. Now we have all sorts of celebrities. We have, because uh, of cable television, we have reality, reality stars, TV. and we have... Uh -huh. Uh, cooking chefs, you know, that are famous, that are, you know, iconic and so forth. So That's I true. think the celebrity -ness comes in different, um, in different types of themes and different types of subjects and, and you know, even a special speaker somewhere might be a celebrity. So, um, so I think it's just different types of celebrities, you know, so, or well, that you're famous or that you come on on television or that you have a radio show or, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, you could have a book out and be a celebrity. So, uh, so, so that's celebrities to me. Yeah. But, but who do you shoot mostly on assignment or freelance and hoping you can sell it? It's a little of both. I think I get a lot of people calling me for things. I have so and so coming in, or I have a restaurant tour that calls me and says, "Hey, I have so so and so coming to dinner tonight." So everybody wants their 15 minutes of fame, whether. It's the uh, owner of a restaurant or owner of a car dealership or whatever. Right. That, so you're doing that, them a favor. I mean, it's great. Sometimes, yeah. And they compensate you accordingly. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. It depends on the celebrity. So, you know, if it's a celebrity that I know that I could probably able to syndicate or, or sell or... Uh, so sometimes I might take that tab. But um, but in many cases, they just it's it's more or less a work for hire, um, and I go and I do the event. And uh, who's recent? Who, who have you done recently? Recently, uh, let's see. Hmm. Well, I did. Uh, you know, the Estefans. I did. That's you know this past weekend. Um, um, you know, there's just different different types. Uh, you know, I did uh, Julian Schnabel, who's an artist. You know, he's known oh, in, I the, know. in the art sure. world. Uh, so, you know, it's not necessarily uh, somebody that I'll sell in People magazine or anything like that, but, but uh, you know, he's kind of getting up there, you know, as a, like a living icon artist, you know. How did so. you build your reputation as a go-to photographer? Um, I just went everywhere, you know, going to, going to places every day in and day out, you know, going to a lot of events, whether I had to be there or not. Uh -huh. um, you know, um, kind of created that reputation, and every once in a while, I I got lucky and I got something good. Um, kind of like hunting, kinda, you know, you go out <laughs> hunting every day, or you go out fishing. You know, you might not catch a fish, but that one day you might catch three fishes. So, um, I think um, um, that's pretty much um, how I got started. Um, just going to a lot of things, shaking a lot of hands, kind of like a politician, but mm. with a camera. Mm. <laughs> um, Did you always want to be a photographer? Is that what you? No, no. Actually, I wanted to be in television, like uh, production, and uh, and that's what I studied in college. So. Um, well, how did that happen? How did that transition happen? You know, I started working actually in politics uh, with uh, a candidate here in Miami, uh, well, in Miami, that. Um, um, and I just picked up a camera and started shooting her stuff and then I kind of got tired of the po politics and I didn't like any of it. So I just said, let me just go do the more the fluffy stuff, you know, fashion shows and, you know, and uh, premieres and that type of thing and just celebrities and so forth. So I just took to that and people and, uh, and I said, well, where's that? And I said, South Beach. So I headed to South Beach and uh, just started, you know, doing all the restaurants and 
all the galas and stuff. At the galas, you know, you get a lot of celebrities come in, you know, they, people that donate their times, you know. Um, whether it's an iconic person like a Phyllis Stiller or to like Kim Kardashian. So it, it just, not to compare the both, either, either <laughs> or. <but laughs> I'm just saying. Th th those know, two names I wouldn't yeah. expect to hear in one sentence. <laughs> exactly. I, so. I've been on your website and I noticed a lot of the society things that you shoot. Mm -hmm are people that people in society would recognize, but the general public wouldn't. How do you know when you go to a shoot who you're supposed to photograph? How do you know what, <laughs> you know, for instance, at my age, there are a lot of people who are celebrities that I don't recognize. You, you'd, I could, mm -hmm. you could have them walk right by me and I wouldn't know. How do you keep current on Good. who is exactly the people you should be looking for when you walk into a room. Right. Well, you know, I study subjects. You know, I study a lot of pop culture, so I'm always looking at magazines and, you know, uh, going through television and stuff. So, um, and then usually I get a lot of publicists, you know, say, oh my God, you have to take photograph that one or photograph mm -hmm. that one. And sometimes I don't even care who they are. And, you know, they might be the next reality star. <laughs> um, so, but they're hot at the minute. So they have their 50 minutes of fame and it's what sells now. So, might not be next week, so or might not be ten years from now. Nobody will know who the, who they are, right? So how, how does that work? Do you get a um, does a publicist like contact you and say we've got the this gallery opening or this opening of this restaurant? We've got sure. such and such celebrities that are going to be here. We need you to shoot, or do you go on your own and? Uh, no, I get now. I get invited to a lot of things. Before it was more of a you know I would still get invited. Um, to come to the clubs and stuff, but I always felt like some of the more fun stuff was outside. So, so I kind of did the inside stuff, but then I would wait outside as well because I felt like I would capture, you know, just you know the ambience more. Sure. Uh, so I kind of liked that that aspect, but I never tried to be overly intrusive on things. So, um, so that's why I always like to call my stuff more candid as opposed Rather to. Rather than a paparazzi. Right. So, I mean, anybody with a camera, they call it paparazzi nowadays. Oh, so, right. it's, oh, paparazzi, paparazzi, paparazzi. Actually, but, that's a, that's a, a great question. What is the difference between a paparazzi and, say, what you do? Well, you know, uh, I think the word paparazzi, I think, has just been overly used, you know, as this negative thing, right? So, obviously, I don't like to be called a paparazzi. Although I've been called the polite paparazzi, <laughs> I'm just a, I'm just a nice, you know, just a nice person to, you know, take a picture. I'm not gonna like. You don't hide in the on. bushes, you know. You're not I don't hide in the bushes, and uh, <laughs> you know, and I, and the, you know, I get invited to a lot of things. So it's um, it's always uh, uh, you know, it's a fortunate thing to have to be a, this go type go to person. So it's a lot easier for me to capture things. Um, but there's a lot of people out there still trying to, you know, some of the guys out there, they are really good people. You know, they have families, they have, uh, you know, and, uh, and some of them just try to do, try to take a picture, but then you get the bad guys that come in there and start saying bad words to celebrities and start trying to get, you know, more action and interaction. So, mm -hmm. so they, and they're, they're actually creating the event sure, that they can capture. Sure, They're oh. trying to create the event and uh, I don't like any of it. I, to tell you the truth, I don't like any of that that stuff. Um, I think it's just gone overboard. They get gross, they get grotesque, you know, and uh, it's not a not a good way to like, you know, calling somebody a bad name or <laughs> saying something about their mother or whatever. Oh god! Just to and get a reaction from. Just them. to get a reaction. He goes, "What'd you say about my mother?" You know, like <laughs> that type of thing. You know? And then you know, there's like two guys with video cameras, and then it ends up on TMZ. So. Um, you know, and then TMZ, you know, they, you know, that's their content, and uh, and they need, you know, they'll pay for it. So uh, they don't mind, you know, they'll pay for it. That's what it is, you know. I heard you mention People Magazine. Who else buys from you? Um, you know, I get, re I'm represented by Getty Images. So oh. um, Getty, uh, you know, now kind of syndicates pretty much any celebrity thing that I have, and um, and a lot of my archive that I shot from the '90s, but. Um, um, but you know, I still do stuff. I got stuff from Billboard and uh, People and whoever whoever wants to buy Ocean Drive, uh, SocialMiami.com. I do a lot of stuff for them. Uh, Miami Herald. I do a lot of stuff for them. So I do a lot of the local and I do a lot of the national stuff. If 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 it is something that belongs national, because you know a lot of things are local, like you went on my website. Mm -hmm. um, so it's also changed. You know, now I do a lot more social events. Uh, 
and uh, and I capture that scene. So a lot of my celebrities are not necessarily the uh, common names that you hear, you know. Right. So if I photographed uh, somebody that donated a million dollars to an organization and they're with Brad Pitt, then that's great. <laughs> <laughs> you, know? you know, that's just an added bonus, right? Yeah. So. What's your What's your website? Uh, it's Manny uh, of Miami dot com. Manny of Miami mm -hmm. dot com. Yeah. How competitive is the industry? Um, it's pretty competitive, um, you know. And now with iPhones and with uh, that, especially, if, you know, everybody's a paparazzi. You know, like <laughs> you get the, you know, it could be a thirteen year old, or it could be, you know, anybody with the camera phone is capturing stuff. So, I guess for the celebrity angle of it, that's why my my I'm not in search of celebrities as I was before. Because it's not as lucrative as it was then. Right? Are you trying to, re or when you're shooting these things, are you trying to capture a sense of the place and what's going on and even the personality of the people you're shooting? Or is that secondary? In other words, I mean, well, yeah. I mean, I like to, you know, if I'm, if I'm going, if I'm a hired, hired uh, house photographer, I, I definitely try to capture whatever they want me to capture. And then, um, obviously, the celebrity stuff is an easier placement, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know, if it's an organization that probably does, would never make it to People magazine. Right. But I have, like, a, a big celebrity, like, uh, like Make-A-Wish. In other words, they, they, have, they, have, uh, um, they had Diana Ross, right? Mm -hmm. so, so, you know, I would try to see how that could be placed in a national level. As opposed to, yeah, you know, and that gives you know also an outlook for the organization because they made it into a national magazine, which probably wouldn't make it with you know somebody that donated. The you had mentioned, yeah. you had mentioned earlier that um, uh, in the green room, that the the, the profession has changed the, as far as who you sell to, the the interference of the celebrity themselves or their publicist wanted to get in on it. Can you talk a little bit about? You've been doing this a long time, and the, the world has changed. Can you talk mm -hmm. a little about that? I think um, a lot of people um, want to put their hand in the pot, you know. Uh, so uh, they're all out there uh, trying to make a buck. So whether it's a celebrity or whether it's uh, sometimes organizations <laughs> or sometimes, you know, everybody wants to, like, see, well, how can we make some money on this, right? But for the most part, celebrities are getting involved in the action. So In uh, what way? In one way, they they basically uh, you know they'll they'll associate themselves with a photographer and uh, you know they'll set up pictures you know you want the bikini shot you want that one you want that one they set it up and then they cut the difference they cut them and cut you know whatever percentage so, so they agree on. So the celebrity will actually set up a situation sure. and make sure the photographer is nearby huh. to take pictures and then they'll, they'll be you know okay. it'll be an arranged. Got it. So Got it. yeah, many occasions that happens. Who are some of the um, uh, famous people that you photographed over the years, some of the celebrities. Um, well, I would say my 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 personal golden era of photography, uh, which was actually the last ten years of negative film, and that's where I captured a lot of my stuff. Um, well, at least a lot of the stuff that I that I really like um, is in the '90s in Miami Beach. You know, we had Madonna and we had Stallone and Jack Nicholson and and Gianni Versace and those types, um, which you know, any of those are iconic, so, um, and they were just common people that would go everywhere, right? They would go to restaurants, they would go, you know, anywhere. They used uh, to. And now I have to deal, you know, now I deal with Real Housewives of Miami <laughs> people, <laughs> I have to deal with, you know, maybe a, you know, a Kardashian sister or whatever, you know, whatever. They, they, those are the ones that sell now, but they might not have the, the, uh, the resume so to speak, of the others that have created, you know, the Golden Hollywood era or sure. whatever, or the big actors, Oscar winners, and so forth. We might get one every once in a while. I'm not saying that we don't get that now, but um, like back then it was more of a, you see them in, a, in any You're situation. You're doing a book. Let's talk about it. What's going to be in this book? Well, the photos, but it's going to have a theme? Well, you know, my, this book is self-published. I'm publishing my book just because I wanted to get it done faster. Um, and so uh, I'm publishing the book, and it's basically 100 pictures of some of the, my m most favorite pictures. Your favorites. Um, and uh, uh, it's uh, mostly stuff from the 90s, and it's called Candids. And, uh, and that's it. It's just regular candid pictures of celebrities having fun in Miami. What well, are some uh, of the shots that you've taken that you're proudest of, that you go, they can never take that away from me, I got that? Well, I have a few. You know, I have, uh, you know, 
Madonna was one of my favorite subjects um, during the 90s. You know, she lived down here, so, um, you know, she would go to restaurants all the time, and I, I photographed her many times. No bodyguards? No bodyguards. She never, you know, she always had, like, her trainer maybe sometimes or whatever, but never bodyguards. She always, you know, just got on her car and went. You know, well, when, no. when there's someone iconic like that who you shoot a lot, say say Madonna throughout the, the mm -hmm. 90s, does, do they get to know you? Do they, do they say, hey, Manny, how you yeah, doing? Yeah, sometimes. There's some that are friendly and that want to cooperate. Um, obviously, there's sometimes, uh, you know, you have to be a little bit more aggressive to, to get an image or just take mm -hmm. the picture and wait to say, hey, no photos, and then, and then you know, you capture it, you know. And, uh, so I kind of like that candid approach, you know, they're walking in, catching, walking in, you know, it's more of a, you know, still make them look good. I mean, it's not like I'm going to take a picture of them picking their nose or anything like that. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like if they're coming in, they a smile, you know, and they're holding their bags and stuff, you know, I kind of like that more as opposed to just posing, posing. posing yeah, up yeah. against a wall, you know. <laughs> um, so that's kind of what I like. And so, um, and some of the other iconic pictures that you were talking about, um, you know, Versace was another great one of my subjects, mm -hmm. uh, you know, until his unfortunate death, right? Um, I, you know, there's one picture that I have that he, that I actually photographed him in front of the house. I was mm -hmm. going to say by his mansion, yeah. Um, which is, um, you know, it was just a candid moment. He just walked oh. by and he was there and then I posted, I took a picture of him, unfortunately, right, <laughs> well, I right took a picture of him right on the spot where he, where he got, where he got killed. But um, you know uh, his, you know his family. Uh, you know I photographed their family as well, Donatella and Santo, and all the, all the, uh, the Versaces uh, during that time. Um, but they were, you know, common people. You see them everywhere, and it was, it was not a, you know, twenty bodyguards or any of that. But it is today, isn't it? The bodyguards. Today is a lot more controlled. You know, you know, you have uh, a lot of the. Uh, the cars and stuff, you know, uh, you know, you go to South Beach and there's probably 20, 30 photographers out there shooting, you know. So I try to avoid that, you know. Um, but uh, no, I just shoot them now in their own habitat, kind of like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like I'll go in and, and you know, I'm there. So um, and, and, I, and again, I'm trying to be polite and don't try to like be so intrusive or anything like that. So you mentioned um, the last 10 years of the negative um, film era. How, how hard was it or was it difficult switching um, or adapting from, to digital from? Uh, well, I feel a lot of the photographers nowadays, you know, they just stick a eight gig, ca uh, a gig card in their camera and they're just, mm -hmm. they don't let go of that button. And uh, so I feel like the essence of photography, they've lost it, you know, so I, I don't, you know, if you shoot a thousand pictures, you're bound to get something decent, right? Uh, but that means that you could shoot it, and you could anybody right, could shoot it right. as opposed to like um, taking care of your, you know, uh, training your eye to like capture and when, yeah, to, an when to click. Yeah. And uh, and back then, you know, you shoot with negatives, you know, you didn't know what you had until the next day. So I I would shoot, you know, if I had two rolls in my pocket, um, I would take a picture, and hopefully I had something. I wouldn't know until the next day. It's kind of a surprise. And so <laughs> now it's like. Uh, with digital cameras, you have the instant gratification where you get to see it right, mm -hmm. right there and then. Well, Two thousand pictures that you just taken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. Can I do it? I'm not going to do it. No, you know, I mean, it's like yeah. it's insanity. So, um, you know, and I and and people don't know how you know how interesting it was to print photography before. So, uh, you know, printing was was did kind you do of your fun. Own? Um, I did some, you know, in college. Um, I didn't really, you know, go out and do everything, you know, I had to, I just send it to the lab, you know, with my negatives and just selected what I needed to get select and so forth. But, um, you know, I learned a lot, you know, through that, you know, and, and, and the actual art of it, you know. Yes. Right. Is it even possible to um, shoot with, with film anymore? I mean, is that... Yeah, is no, that you could still shoot with film. Uh, there's film. Uh, and, and actually, I did shoot um, film um, in a little camera one night and I took it. I dropped the film off, and I dropped it off at a local drugstore. I'm gonna mention the name because they messed up. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, and so I take the two rolls, and and they ruined one of them. Oh, wow. Um, and because uh, you know the girl didn't know, she just I don't know she messed up, and they said no, we messed up. I, and I could see her taking out going, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this not, nothing on it? You know, and go, Thank you. I don't you know, it's about the whole thing. You know, pretty much. Never did your own developing. 
Yeah, I mean, I did in college and stuff. I mean, it's just too hectic when you, you know, you go out and shoot 10 rolls or whatever, you know, uh, back then. I mean, now it's with a little card and just download Amazing. everything and Amazing. it's all a whole that different dynamic and, and, uh, and, you know, just to move pictures to magazines and to move it to the uh, different outlets, uh, so much easier now. Like back then it was just one outlet, next outlet, next outlet, next outlet. Now it's just like everybody gets it at once, you know, so, so the business is all different now and, and the prices are a lot different now too, so. In what sense? Yeah, how so, are they, are they paying more now? Well, the less? rates are a lot, a lot, a lot less because there's so much out there. So celebrities even sometimes take their own pictures, send it on, on Instagram or Twitter, and they say, it, well, and there yeah. you go. And right. then the, the actual TV shows report on the Twitter feed, right? <laughs> right. So, and they get it for free. So, why, you know, so that's kind of like uh, where we're at. And, uh, you know, um, so that, that's why I just go and I cover events. I'd rather at least make money on getting hired to shoot the event and shoot, you know, the, the people that make you know, Miami or make, you know, uh, all of South Florida happen, you know. So much of what you're talking about is on mm -hmm. the fly. Do you, have you ever done or do you still do any kind of studio photography or portrait photography? I don't do much of it. Um, it's just, uh, you know, I, I let the guys that do that, I let them do it. I farm it out, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it's just it's too much stuff. I have to take lights and all that stuff, you know, and I, and I could do it. Um, I've done it many times, but it's not my core business. It's not what I... I try to stay to doing parties and fluffy events and fashion shows and features and women with funny hats at luncheons and stuff like that. And <laughs> South Beach and South Beach and South Beach. And pretty much South Beach, Design District, Winwood. Oh, know, yeah. That's like the new thing. So Let's that's talk about a little bit Winwood. Uh, yeah, the hype. I mean, um, from one year to the next, it's amazing what's happened there. Well, it's, it's funny, funny you should say about Winwood. Uh, I actually was born and raised in Winwood. I grew up in Winwood. Uh, so I, I used to know when it was the crime district, and now it's the art district. So it's kind of a great dynamic that's happening there, and um, uh, just the way everything is there now, and it's just great. You know, a lot of uh, people uh, doing their, you know, their their artwork on the on, on the walls, and, yes, and it's just a great vibe. It must be very happening. exciting to go back and see it, to see how it's grown and how it's changed. Yeah, I mean, you know, our, our little dump has become has growing up. So you know, and just to see people walk down the street and not get mugged is it, is <laughs> a is a it's kind of a, a a great feeling, you know, that people feel confident to actually sure. walk, you know, um, and they walk from one event to the next or one gallery to the next, which. I would say 15, 20 years ago. Forget it. Yeah. Oh, no, you, you know, couldn't get out of you your would car. Be like, Could I? And there's some <laughs> great I get restaurants out of here, I'm there trapped. too now. Yeah. 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 yeah, so they have great restaurants now, and they have, uh, Amazing. you know, I mean, I, uh, you know, even going back to the celebrity scene, uh, in December of last year, I photographed Beyonce and Jay Z. So they were just coming out of a restaurant. I, that one I got a call, but they were there. And uh, I really didn't want to do it, believe it or not. But I said, let me just take a drive through there. Right, and so I took a drive, and I didn't even have my camera on my front seat. And like I, I pull up, and there's Jay Z and Beyonce just standing there. Oh, oh, so oh. it was kind of an uh, uh, interesting thing just to see them in the neighborhood. <laughs> and I was like, Oh my God, they're there! I can't believe it! I can't believe it. I don't have my camera, so I, I had to like come around the block, and then, <laughs> and then I photographed them. And they, actually, Beyonce shot a couple of pictures, and she took a picture of me. She took a picture of <laughs> you. There you I go. love that. Smiling. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I'm sure so, it's tempting. And but actually, uh, when I when that picture went out, uh, both pictures sold because they 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 teased it with Beyonce with the camera. They say, "Who is she photographing?" Right, and then the next picture, she has her camera down. Right. Uh, but the, the picture of you did that? No, that I mean, <laughs> I'm going to ask her for it though when yes. I see her. But it was just no. no the fact is, that that they were just one. laid back and just walking through. Yeah. Well through Wynwood and enjoying the art and taking pictures of all the, you know, all the artwork out in the street and so forth. So, nice. uh, you know, she went to Wynwood Walls and she just enjoyed everything, you know, she just... Uh, How do you feel about graffiti? <sighs> graffiti and street art are two different things. Oh. You know, street art, um, whether, you know, there's a lot of street artists that just, that's their canvas, right? And then there's some that just do some scribbled stuff that I might not necessarily like so but there's a lot of great should... masterpieces out there no question that, you know that eventually will get painted over and then it'll start over again right somebody yes. else will come yes. and start but, painting. The, but I, I completely agree I think some of the street art especially in Woodward mm -hmm. is just beautiful yeah some guys are like you know there and you know there's gallerists that are now representing some of these guys there's 
one guy that uh, um, actually has even a lawsuit because they used some of his artwork in like editorial, uh, not editorial, in uh, advertising. So, mm. well, yes. Yeah, and so he's like in a legal battle there with that one. And uh, wow. so, I mean, so they, people didn't say, oh, there's just a guy, graffiti, whatever, but now they're using their stuff in, you know, in major stuff. So, right. uh, but does he have a little copyright symbol on the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> Not a copyright symbol, but I mean, it's it's like kind of basically if somebody took a picture of you on the street mm -hmm. and then they use it, they plaster it on a billboard with an advertising. Mm -hmm. So if they use it for yeah, editorial, it's a different thing. If you know, if you said, oh, you're in Winwood, oh, Winwood scene is beautiful, or whatever, and it's a write-up, then it doesn't matter, right? Mm -hmm. But if it's like uh, you know, an advertising, if they're making to just, money, exactly right. to sell something. You know. What's your dream? What would it be? Is it the book? Is it you know, I just want to stay doing what I do. Good for you. I mean, I like, I, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy taking pictures. I enjoy uh, seeing it later. Like, I have pictures all day long, whether it's getting stuff to a client or just taking pictures, you know. Um, but when it's not fun, I'll stop doing it. When you it know? stops being fun, of course, when you yeah. lose the passion. Yeah. Lose that I don't want to lose that passion, believe it or not. the passion for it. I don't want to lose that passion. Well, Manny, so, that's good. Yeah. What is your website again? Let's say it again so everybody can bring it uh, up. It's uh, MannyofMiami.com. Say it again. MannyofMiami.com. MannyofMiami.com. Yeah. Well, I'm pleased to have you here again. It's been a while since Great. the two of us spoke. And um, things have changed, but they really haven't changed. Mm -hmm. But I'm listening to you talk now, you know. Thank you for inviting me here. A little bit. Well, our pleasure once again. It's always a pleasure, isn't it? I hope it is for you as well. <laughs> this time we called it celebrity photography. When I think of it, we're all a celebrity. It might be only in our own family. <laughs> but we have our picture taken by those who want it and enjoy it. And um, I hope that you enjoy what we're doing here right now and we'll continue to do that by watching us every week. And we want you to go to the theater. Please go to the theater. Find out what's going on in the theater. Just go to floridatheateronstage.com. Everything that is, is there. I want to thank the panel. I want to thank Manny. Thank I you. want to thank you.